My name is Hillary Gibson. I'm the Regional Education Manager, one of the Regional Education Managers with Schwartz Cup Professional USA. I am so incredibly excited to be here today to share with you Agora Vibrance. I'm personally, as you can see, a blonde who is very passionate about toning, blondes, all of that. So with the, um, with the new addition of Agora Vibrance to our family, it has been an incredible um, addition that we've had. So Agora Vibrance is our demi-permanent hair color designed for um, pure deposit as well as going to be your toning. So we're gonna break down all of the new innovation that comes with Igora Vibrance, but starting with it, if you are not familiar with our Schwarzkopf Professional Numbering System, I wanna make sure that you're super clear, so we're gonna start from there. So starting with our dash zero in our tone directions, actually first, I'm gonna go with our color depth. So the color depth on the left-hand side is going to look very familiar to a lot of you. So one being the darkest, nine being the lightest. So that is gonna give you a, um, you know, depth of how dark or how light that level is going to be. Then when you are going with your tone directions, which is on the right hand side, that's where it gets a little bit unique to Schwarzkopf professional language. So the way that I like to think about this is, regardless of what brand you're used to or you've used in the past, learning just 10 new um, letters in order or numbers in order for you to learn a new language is really super easy. So starting with our dash zero, which is our natural or our neutral. This one, it, I know it's hard to see on the color circle, but if you were able to look closely or if you have a paper swatch chart that you're following with, the dash zero in our series actually sits between green and gold. So what this means is it's a perfectly balanced neutral. And why that's really important and unique is in our world to be able to have a perfectly balanced neutral that doesn't lean cool, but it doesn't lean warm is incredible. So if you're looking for neutralization or you're looking for just pure deposit without an additional warm aspect to it, being able to pull into our natural or our neutral is incredible. Now, the next three are very unique again to our brand but being able to customize our ash or our cool tones is incredible. So the dash one is our Sandre or our blue violet. Now, this one specifically is going to target any of your underlying warmth, um, your yellows and your orange. Then you have your dash two, which is your ash or your blue. So if you have more orange that you're primarily trying to neutralize, we're giving you an ash with more of a blue pigmentation or, or underlying tone to it to perfectly neutralize the, the orange that's underlying where we're at that level that you're at. And then dash three is our matte, which is green. So when you're in your lower levels, why primarily you're neutralizing red, having that green is incredible because you're able to really heavily neutralize and target that red. So if you think about being able to grab and customize that specific color tone, depending on what level you're at, is going to be amazing. If I'm in a toning situation in a lighter level like myself, I don't want to have any green. I don't want to run the risk of having any extra mud or any neutralizing pigments that aren't going to help me. I primarily want that blue and violet so I can stay nice and kind of that light, bright neutralization of that pale yellow. Now, when we're going down to our deeper ones, being able to have a color that specifically has green to help me neutralize, but I'm not compromising my neutralizing power at those lower levels, it really is a great kind of part to our brand. Then moving into the dash four, which is beige or a muted gold. Now, I personally really love this one as well because if you're looking for a soft reflection of warmth, but your clients kind of said to you like, I don't like warmth, I don't like gold, but you know the pictures they're showing you have a slight touch of a reflection of warmth, a beige is a really great family to kind of dip your toe in and try with them to see if they're feeling like that's gonna be a good option. Dash five is gold, which is gold. So that's gonna be, you know, your gold tone. And in our family, again, you can see I'm a cool blonde, but our gold really is a very soft reflection of gold as well. It's beautiful. Dash six is chocolate, which is our warm brown. And 
as we break down the rest of the colors within the family, what's really nice is in our chocolate family or tone, we have a chocolate map. So it's gonna be more of a chocolate um, green undertone. So it's gonna neutralize while still being chocolate. But we also have a chocolate red. So we've got a couple different options for chocolate for you. Dash seven is copper, which is orange. Dash eight is red, which is red. And dash nine is violet, which is violet. So this is the new language that you need to learn. Um, my best advice here is that either as you're following along this video, make sure that you jot these down, write them down, or take a screenshot. Wherever you are mixing your color, have your notepad, have your picture, whatever's gonna work best for you. But once you get these down, you'll be able to read the entire language and be able to grab whatever color you need um, as you're going through. So understanding how to read the uh, labels on our boxes is going to be important as well. So now that we know that we have our depth as well as our tone, understanding that when we have a, um, we put a dash between to indicate the difference between our depth and our tone directions. So right here, you can see we have a seven dash by seven. So the seven in front of that dash is going to indicate the level. So how light or how dark that color is going to be in the box. The uh, first tone after the dash, if there's just one tone, that's the tone of that color. If there's a tone, a primary tone, and then a second number, that's gonna be a primary tone direction with a secondary tone direction. So then if you have two of the identical numbers after the dash, that's gonna indicate an intense color. So here your example is 7-5-7. So it's going to be a level seven, primary tone direction, gold, secondary tone direction, copper. So moving into a little bit more about the features and benefits specific to Agora Vibrance, we, it is definitely one of the funnest, most versatile semi-permanents that I've ever used. Um, we have more performance, more convenience, more versatility, and more choice. So I'm gonna break down all of those kind of with the new technology that we've launched within Agora Vibrance. All right. So the first part of technology is called Aquasil. The Aquasil is essentially a moisturizing molecule combined with sugar molecules and vitamins B3 and B5, and it stabilizes in the hair's inner structure to um, stabilize that moisturizing feel. So if you think about, and then it's also adding shine. So if you think about a bowl of sugar and like if the light hits it, you get that gorgeous reflection. So that's gonna be kind of the role of sugar molecules is giving that really beautiful shine while it's adding all the moisture with Aquacil. So it's controlling that hair's moisturizing level um, during that development time and it stabilizes the structure in each hair fiber. So what I want for you to think about is as a demi-permanent, we are getting up to 25 shampoos out of our Igor Vibrance. But what's really unique about this is because of the Aquacil technology, we are getting as much longevity from the power of Aquacil as we are with our color because they're working together. We also have 40% less MEA or monoethanolamine, which is a derivative of ammonia that's generally found in a demi-permanent. So this one is designed to give us more even color results and protect against future hair breakage, as well as it's an alcohol-free formulation, which really helps with the hair surface and keep that shine while working with the sugar molecules and the vitamins B3 and B5. You're getting an overall very moisturized, very shiny, very, um, just amazing end result after you've colored the hair. So moving in a little bit into the assortment of the brand. So what's really unique about this um, line is we have a liquid color. Um, so liquid color in a box or in a bottle, in a box, and you can change the consistency of your color, whether you want it to be more of a gel or a lotion. So the color itself is a liquid consistency, and I've actually got one here that I'm going to try and show you guys so that you can see um, the liquid consistency, and then I'm also going to show you uh, the two different developers. So I'll see, you guys can see it pouring in there. So it's a beautiful liquid consistency. Get those ready. Perfect. So the liquid consistency there, 
And then um, moving into, we have our clear, which is our shine. So our shine treatment is our 0-00, and I am going to break that down a little bit more. Um, and then we have three activator options within the brand. So we have our activator gel, which comes in a six volume as well, or just, yeah, just a six volume. And the nice thing about the gel activator is it's incredible for um, more of a bottle application. So it has a very jelly-like consistency. You're mixing it one-to-one -one with your color. And I've got it here. So you guys can really see, it's not so drippy that it's going to fall off your brush. So you still have a lot of control with it if you choose to mix it with your bowl and a brush because you're doing maybe an application on really long hair. You can still have a lot of control from that, that gel consistency. But it's designed specifically to be able to be used with a bottle. So if you're doing a really quick application at the sink for a toner, that's a great option. Now the other activator of choice is your activator lotion. We have it in both a 1.9% 6 volume as well as a 4% 13 volume. So this one here is another great option if you are looking for something that has a little bit of a thicker consistency to it. So if I'm applying low lights with my demi-permanent and I want to have a lot more control, I also choose the lotion activator when I am doing a root shade or a root tap or I want to have a lot of control where that color is placed and I want it to stay there, I'll also use my activator lotion. So my six volume lotion, whether you choose activator gel or activator lotion, you're going to get the same deposit. So it's designed for a deposit only. That's going to be a great option for if you are specifically looking for your dual application system. So if I've done Igora Royale or Igora Color 10 on the regrowth, and then I'm pulling through the mid lengths and ends for my dual application, I'm most likely going to use my six volume. The second time would be your pastel toning. So if you're using our 9.5 series, that's a great option. The six volume lotion activator and gel activator is going to give you the exact same deposit. So it really boils down to the consistency and the application of if you want to use a bowl or a bowl and a brush, or if you want to use a bottle. Um, anytime you're doing tone on tone or coloring darker, you're gonna be using your 1.9% six volume as well as white hair blending up to 30%. So when I'm gravitating towards my 13 volume or 4% um, activator lotion, that's where if I'm looking to pull through the mid lengths and ends, but maybe I'm using a gold or a copper or a red, and I'm really looking for that light and bright um, type of effect, then I'm gonna pull through my mid lengths and ends with my 13 volume um, instead of my six volume. The next time that I'm going to be using or choosing my uh, 13 volume lotion activator would be if I was doing a white blending. Um, when using our natural extra series, which is our dash zero zero, Agora Vibrance will give you up to 70% white hair blending when you are mixing it with your 13 volume lotion activator. So guys, that's a really great option. If you've got a client who isn't fully committed to becoming a full coverage client. They're not 100% white, they're not super coarse, maybe they're just starting to enter the world of having a few little sprinkles of gray coming through. This is a really great option to be able to help them blend those little white or gray hairs that are starting to shine through, but they're not gonna have a heavy demarcation line. So if you guys haven't tried that before, I would highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite ways to use Igora Vibrance, um, but definitely, uh, definitely try it out if you haven't. The development time is going to be 5 to 20 minutes. Now, that's going to be dependent. We want a full 20 minutes if you're using any of the core shades, which I'm going to break down a little bit more. But the 20 minutes is going to give you the longevity of your 25 shampoos. Where it becomes a little bit um, more flexible is if you're doing a toning service with our 9.5 series. That's where you can do more development to the eye. So if you want to do five or 10 or 15 minutes, that's completely up to you um, as you're watching your toners develop. 
So moving on into our clear. If you guys have not tried this one, the 0-00 is one of my favorite parts of this brand. It's a standalone box treatment, as well as a clear that you can use to soften the intensity of the depth or the tone in any of the Igora Vibrance colors. So if you are choosing to use it as a standalone gloss treatment, which the reason it's in a bigger bottle is that we can have it on our back bar. So it's a really easy upsell. If you have a extra few minutes and you've got a um, client coming in who is a haircut client, you could upsell them with a, a clear 0.00 glossing service to be able to give them all of the benefits of the Aquacil and the sugar molecules and the B vitamins, B3 and B5, but without um, depositing any pigment or changing the color or tone of their hair. So when you're using it alone, there is no need to add any developer activator to it. You just apply it directly out of the bottle to the hair, which is why it's so nice and convenient to have it in that um, size. And then to soften the intensity of Agora Vibrance, um, you can intermix it as well. So when you are intermixing it into any of your other color shades, you just want to make sure that you're adding the coordinating activator to it as well. So this really is my favorite part. We start to be able to break down each of the individual colors on, the, on their own. So I hope that you guys can see this okay, but um, if you cannot, I would definitely encourage you to uh, reach out to your education or your sales partners um, and get a PDF version of this or a paper spot chart version of this so that you can see it a little bit better. Um, or we also have it in the swatch book as well. So when you are looking at it here, the purple section is gonna be more of your naturals to your dash zero zeros, your cooler tones. Moving into the um, gold column is more of your beiges, your beige, um, uh, beige, uh, beiges, golds, and then golden coppers. The orange section here moves into more of your chocolates, and then the pink section moves into your coppers, your reds, and your reds, red violets. So I'm going to focus for a few minutes on the pastel toners. So the section that is just past that little pink box there is your 9.5 series. The 9.5 series is your pastel toners. I think that this is one of the most um, sought after products within the brand. I think so many of us do a lot of balayaging or highlighting or bleach and tone clients like myself. And so I think really having a good understanding of all of our pastel toners is crucial. So when you are looking at the pastel toners, the first thing that I'm going to say is the 9.5 does not indicate a level nine and a half. So don't be scared that it's going to take your inside of a banana peel, gorgeous lifted blonde down to a level nine and a half. It's just simply indicating that it's a pastel toner to be used on pre-lightened hair um, upwards of the level nine, so level nine or level 10. So starting with the first ones, I have actually created something here for you guys where I think it's a little bit easier to see the actual pigments within these colors. So starting with, try and put myself in here, okay. So starting with my 9.5-1, this is gonna be my pastel toner, Sandre or Blue Violet. This one is my ultimate favorite. I'm laughing because my hair almost looks just like it. So 9.5-1 honestly is everything. It's a phenomenal option if you're just looking to neutralize softly. Um, it has enough pigment in that it's going to neutralize out any of that unwanted warmth. And if you choose, which I'm gonna give you a few formulation ideas, you can push it into being more gray, more ash, more silver. But when in doubt, I always say use 9.5-1. It's everything. The next one here, oh, the next one here is 9.5-19. So that's gonna be your pastel toner, Sandre Violet. So blue, violet, violet. As you can see, it kind of has a little bit of a lavendery type hue to it. So this one is one of my favorites. If I have a client who comes in who really truly wants to be white, she doesn't want to be um, silver or super ash. She just really wants that like light and bright white. I will generally utilize the 9.5-19. Now with all of our toners, I want to encourage you guys, if you haven't tried them, um, trust them. 
they might develop and you'll really see the violet as this one's developing. It's okay, trust it, it's gorgeous. So as you can see, it has that slight lavender feel. 90% of the time when I'm using it, it will dissipate very softly. So they might have a very soft reflection of that lavender feel, but once you wash it once or twice, it will dissipate out and be that like platinum white. Having that extra violet in there is really gonna help you neutralize any extra underlying warmth or yellow that's left in there. Um, and it, it tends to be one of the most gorgeous ones. If that little bit of lavender, you know, doesn't dissipate, um, it, it will and it's beautiful. If you're nervous or when in doubt, I do I do often mix 9.5-1 with 9.5-19 together. It's beautiful. The 9.5-1 will control it a little bit more. So definitely utilize that one. The 9.5-21 is going to be primary tone direction ash or blue, secondary sandre or blue violet. So I really love this one for that kind of light silver effect. So I usually will intermix this one either with 9.5-1 or I will intermix it with some of my core shades, which I'm going to talk about, but I really like it as the base to silver. So if I've already pre-lightened somebody and I've already kind of got them to that super light inside of banana peel and I'm really going to have them be more of that silver ash, I will utilize 9.5-21 as the base. Now moving into 9.5-4, as you can see with these ones, they, they are, they're beautiful. They're soft. Um, I hope that this kind of helps you because sometimes the swatches that are in the swatch book don't really show the true um, reflection of what you're getting. And these were all done on just kind of those light white swatches. So you're really able to see the tone that's built into them. So the 9.5-4 is gonna be your beige. I love this one. It's one of my favorite go-tos if I'm not looking for super white or silver. Um, it's a great go-to if you're already doing kind of a soft low light with a soft beige kind of feel. It's a great one. I also will intermix it with 9.5-1 very often. If I'm looking to do um, you know, something that I, I wanna make sure I have enough control but I want it to end up a little bit more of a beige tone, that's a great combination. Moving on into the 9.5-46, you can see this one here, it's very powdery, very soft. Um, the 46 is gonna be your beige, and, which is your muted gold, and your chocolate, which is your warm brown. So it does have that reflection of warmth to it, but it's very soft, very powdery, very, very soft and pretty. So if you're familiar with our nude category within our, our Igor Real and our Igor Vibrance, the dash 46, really is very powdery and very pretty. So I tend to do an 8-46 as a low light, and then I will tone them with the 9.5-46 as well, just to kind of keep it very soft and powdery. Then we have, then we have our 9.5-49. The 49 is gonna be your beige violet. It's almost like a champagne blonde, kind of has this pinky feel to it, um, a bit of a golden pinky reflection, literally champagne blonde. It's absolutely gorgeous. It reflects a slight bit of warmth. Um, I tend to use this one if I'm looking for that kind of light and bright feel. Then we have our 9.5-5. That is gonna be our gold, but you can see, I mean, it is so soft and beautiful. Um, it's really truly like that reflection of California Blonde. It's, it's beautiful. One of my favorite combinations here too is if I'm in a situation where, let me, I'll try this way. If I'm in a situation where somebody comes in and they say, I want to be super blonde, I want to be super light, but I don't want warmth, but I don't want ash. <laughs> that that's a hard one. It's a hard one. And you want to look at pictures and you want to kind of have a good understanding of what they're saying, but you know, you need some controlling pigment. So one of my favorite uh, combinations is actually 9.5-5 with 9.5-1 because the 9.5-1 will control it, but the 9.5-5 has enough neutralizing or enough reflection of that warmth. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's almost like buttercream blonde. 
So if you're in that predicament, like I just described, definitely give that one a try. It's quickly become one of my favorite formulations. And then last, but certainly not least, is our 9.5-98. The 9.5-98 is going to be primary violet, secondary red, but you can see it is so soft. It is so pretty. I've actually done this on my hair, you know, super easy to apply, pre-lightened. Um, it really gives you a very pretty soft pink. Now, if you want more of a kind of um, strawberry type, uh, uh, pinky strawberry type golden tone, um, I will actually mix the 9.5-5 into it. If you want more of that dusty rose type feel, I will definitely mix my 9.5-98 with my 9.5-1. Again, 9.5-1 is everything, um, but those two together make a very dusty rose that fades out very beautifully. So I did that combination on my hair, I think about a few years ago, um, and it was really pretty because as it faded out, I didn't have to remove anything. So if you've been hesitant to try in any pinks on any of your blondes, try this one out, it's gorgeous. All right, and then this, one of the things that I want to encourage you guys of is when you're using your pastel shades, I understand that not everyone lifts to that perfect inside of a banana peel feel. So if you have, if you're feeling like you, you need a little bit more pigment or a little bit more depth to be able to control warmth or deposit warmth or anything like that, feel free free and confident to intermix some of your core range with your pastel toners. So the core range will give you up to 25 shampoos, whereas the pastel toners will give you up to 12. So one of the favorite, if you're, so when I was speaking about 9.5-21 earlier, one of my favorite ones is I will often intermix 8-11 or 8-19 and I'll put just a few drops into those to kind of help me make it more of that true gray silver that some of these Pinterest pictures are looking like. So utilize those, even though they're a level eight, they have the depth amount of a level eight. So they're really gonna help you cool off and neutralize and add a really like cool deep pigment to them and they'll help you neutralize quite, quite nicely as well. Another scenario that I have, I think happens quite often is the 9.5-1 and the 9.5, or sorry, the 9-1 and the 9.5-1. The scenario of the client who comes in and they've got old highlights and new highlights and you've just pre-lifted them so they lift beautifully, but some of their old highlights aren't quite a perfect level 10 um, and you kind of just feel like you need a little bit more neutralizing power, my favorite combination is 9-1 and 9.5-1. It, um, by adding the 9-1 into there, it essentially allows you to have a little bit more control while you're neutralizing, which is amazing. And it will help you just kind of like, it won't heavily deposit down on those super light pieces, but it has enough depth built into it that it's going to help you neutralize those pieces that didn't perfectly lift. So that's another one of my favorites. But really, as you're looking across the top of that level nine series, the 9-4, 9-55, 9-7, I utilize a lot of those when I'm creating customized um, mixtures of whether a strawberry blonde or something a little bit cooler. Really don't be afraid to intermix between them. Um, a couple of other really great options, remembering because my natural or my neutral, my dash zero, sits between green and gold, it's going to have some neutralizing power to it, but it'll still control. So if you are in the situation where you've lifted somebody and you feel like they're, you know, there's pieces that lifted nicely, but there's pieces that are still like a level eight with a lot of warmth, I will often go in and mix whether it's my dash ones or my dash one one with my dash zero so that I'm not ending up with any of those lighter pieces going more muddy. So again, play with them. We have some gorgeous tones. The eight dash four six is one of my favorite low lights. I'll intermix the dash zeros with those. Um, seven dash four is another great option. If you're looking for um, kind of those caramels, really just look between your six sevens and eights. And you've got some really great options there that can be really gorgeous for low lighting or more of those caramel type tones if somebody isn't looking to be platinum. 
And then the final part on um, on that category is our uh, pure tones. So I actually have one more slide that I'm going to talk about the pure tones a little bit more. So um, I'm going to skip that for a second. And then we've got two new collections to the brand. We've got our earthy clay and our earthy cedar. So these two are going to be more controlling, uh, very cool. So we have a dash one six, which is going to be um, primary tone direction is sandre or blue violet, secondary chocolate or warm warm brown, and then the other one here is our dash two one. So primary tone direction is blue or ash, and then second tone secondary tone direction is sandre, which is blue violet. So those are going to be heavily neutralizing. Um, as you can see, they are they are very deep and they are very neutralizing. So just think about during the day with the sun, we have reflection versus in the night, we have absorption of light. So these ones are, because they're designed to be very cool and very um, neutralizing, they are going to have a lot more depth to them, as you can see. The next collection is called Muted Desert. I cannot say enough about how obsessed with this brand I am, or this this trend I am. Uh, the first collection is the Dash 2-4. So primary tone direction is ash. Secondary tone direction is muted gold or beige. It has enough controlling power, but with that beige being the secondary, it has this gorgeous reflection of that grayish type concept. So it's designed to neutralize, but it's not gonna over neutralize. It's inspired by that muted chocolate, chalky and calm landscape of the desert. Um, so really that kind of grayish type concept. So it comes in a nine and a seven, and then you have your nine dash four two and your seven dash four two. So what we've done here is we've just flipped the um, tone direction. So in this case, the primary tone direction is your beige, your secondary tone direction is your ash. So that one's gonna have a little bit more of a reflection of warmth, whereas the dash two four is gonna have a little bit of more of a neutralizing power with the reflection behind it. But honestly, if you have not tried these ones out, please do, they are incredible. They have become very quickly one of my favorites. And I would encourage you to intermix if you're looking for uh, to utilize the nine series, feel free to intermix them, whether it's with your clear or whether it's with your um, 9.5-1, 9.5-4, any of your pastel series. Um, I've played with them quite a bit and they're absolutely gorgeous. So please, please, please check these out. You will not regret it. All right. So as promised, here's a little bit more on our mixing boosters. So if you are already using um, Schwartz Cuff Professional Igora Royale, you'll probably already be familiar with these. So we have our boosters and our neutralizers um, that are designed to either enhance or neutralize anything that you're looking to do. So the 0-11, 0-22, and 0-33 are gonna be more of your neutralizing pigments. As you can see here, you can utilize a little bit more, um, up to 25% in your lower levels. And then when you get upwards of your levels eight and nine, you're definitely gonna to wanna to do more of that two to 5%, so you're doing more of that soft tone direction. And just think, I mean, in lighter levels, we wanna make sure that we are using our softer tone directions. Um, so 0-11, have fun with it. I play with it all the time. You can really help neutralize and kind of um, kick out any unwanted warmth if you have it there. And then your 0-22 is designed to specifically target your orange, and then 0-33 is gonna specifically target your red. Then we have our fashion boosters. So we have our 0-55 or gold, 0-77, which is our copper, 0-88, which is our red, 0-89, which is our red violet, and 0-99, which is our violet. So utilizing these ones, you can use a little bit more. So for more intense results and deeper levels, you can use up to 30%. Um, you are intermixing these into your colors. So you just wanna make sure that you are adding the correct amount of activator um, in order to make it an even amount. So you are, if you are adding boosters or neutralizers, you are definitely adding your amount of activator as well. So I hope that I gave you a ton of different ways and ideas and formulations to mix. But if not, we did include a few of our techniques and services here as well. What I will say is 
you can definitely check out all of these techniques on our social media pages. So if you want to see these done in a video form, please, please, please check them out. But this one here is one of our first ones. It's called Paint Me Pastel. I actually really like this one because it's a very creative way to give a platinum blonde some dimension, but still keeping her in the lighter levels. So you can see here, color number one is 9.5-1. Remember, I told you it's everything um, with 0, 0.00. So they've diluted it down slightly um, with Agora Vibrance Activator Gel 1.9%. Color number two is the 9-7 with clear as well um, and six volume. And then 9.5-49, so remember that kind of champagne blonde I was talking about? Again, with equal parts clear, 0-00 and six volume. So what they've done here is essentially taken uh, vertical, vertical sections along the bottom and just alternated between the three colors so that she gets a lot of dimension, but you know, kind of utilizing a cool tone next to a warmer tone with the 9-7 and then having that champagne kind of 9.5-49 in between. So it really gives you a lot of dimension and movement that's very soft and subtle. So I hope you guys like that technique. The next one is called Runway Rebel. Um, this one is, again, absolutely gorgeous. Um, three color tone, color uh, mixtures here as well. The first one is gonna be your 9-7 with equal parts of 7-77 and activator lotion 4% or 13 volume. So remember how we were saying, if you want to deposit, but you're using a copper or a red, you want to keep it light and bright, you do have the option to pull through with 13 volume. The next color um, here is the Agora Vibrant 0-89 with clear. So there did a one to two, which is gonna be more of your um, kind of soft pink tone. And then the final color is the 9-7 with six volume. So they've actually done some panels of foiling here, uh, alternating 0-89 with the clear, as well as the 9-7, just to add some dimension and movement into this gorgeous copper. And then they've done a full global application of color number one, which is your 9-7 and 7-77 to kind of keep her nice and copper. And then finally, we have Tempting Tones. Now, um, I would encourage you guys to try and get up close and check this one out. But if you can see that panel of purple on the side, you can see a very soft lavender kind of section. And then it looks like almost a deeper plum section and then a lighter section as well. So this one's an interesting one to watch the video. So I would encourage that. But her uh, global color is going to be the 6-68, which is a level six chocolate red with 13 volumes. So again, keeping it kind of light and bright while still getting that deposit, but you're really enhancing that warmth. And then the two colors here, what's really unique is you can utilize your boosters or your neutralizers as colors. So what they've done here is they've taken our 0-22, which is essentially our blue, and mixed it with our activator gel 1.9% six volume to create that in that kind of middle section there of that blue feel. And then the lavender color that they've got above and below is 9.5-19 with 0-22 and 0-99, six parts to one part to one part with, again, our activator gel 1.9% or six volume. So what I want for you guys to take away from that technique is more focusing on the colors and the way that you can utilize your pure tones as you know colors and be creative with them. But you can really see how soft that pastel tone is and they've added quite a bit of booster. So play with them, don't be afraid of them. They are incredible. I encourage you guys to definitely embrace them and play with them. But when in doubt, start with a few drops and then go from there. All right, so I hope that that was helpful for you guys. I really enjoyed sharing my obvious passion for Igora Vibrance with you. I would happily encourage you to um, check back out or <laughs> check out our YouTube channel, uh, Schwarzkopf Professional USA. Subscribe, and we have a whole ton of people. Our original education management team has been working uh, very hard to create a whole bunch of content. So check back with them. Check out what we've created for you guys to support you out in the field.